Welcome to Tips for Clips. Today I'm going to show you how to go from this crazy mess to this nice and neat look in just a few simple steps. The first step is to part your hair exactly how you're going to want to part it when the haircut is done, how you're going to brush it normally. You're going to take a number 8 clip in the long position, open position, and you're just going to start lightening up, start from the bottom, and you just want to clip a little bit slowly but surely. It's not going to take everything off right now. Number 8 is usually the longest clip you can put on your clippers. So you're pretty safe here, you're not really going to mess anything up. But stay at the bottom and gradually as you go through this haircut, you're going to start going a little higher and higher with the number 8. But for now, there's so much bulk, you just want to get rid of all that bulk on the bottom. You also occasionally want to comb through your hair and see how far you've come along, see where the haircut is going, get a good feel for where you are. You also want to comb the hair on top back so that you don't end up cutting it all and by the end of the haircut you'll see it's still going to be long on top. And you're going to do the exact same thing on the other side. Really simple, you're just going along the bottom of the sides and trying to get rid of all that bulky long hair. So for the next step, we are going to hold a mirror in our hands. You're going to turn around and you're going to maneuver the mirror in such a way that you can see the back of your hair. It's actually not as tough as it looks. You're going to stick with the number 8 clip and you're going to do the exact same thing that you did on the sides. Be sure to go pretty slowly on this step because with such thick hair, your clippers might catch or might get stuck. So you just want to go slowly, start from the bottom, and as you go up, move away from your head. So as you go up, you go out. So this is the trick to making sure it's a nice, smooth transition. You see how high I'm going with the clippers. I keep going all the way up and out as I go up to make sure that that really long hair is tapered off and faded really smoothly. Just pay attention close to the technique that I'm using here. You want to keep going up with the clippers until that really long hair falls out of the clippers back onto your head and you'll be able to have the exact same product. It's really simple, I'm only using one clip. You want to take your time on this step, keep checking with the mirror, looking at different angles, different lighting. You can keep brushing your hair just to make sure that it's a nice smooth transition. This is one of the more important parts of the haircut. You can already see how much of a difference there is and how much of that thick hair is already gone and we're well on our way uh, pretty much halfway done with the haircut at this point in just a few minutes so it shouldn't be too hard if it's your first time take your time there's no rush and this upcoming part is I think the most difficult part of the haircut if you have someone that can help you let them do the back for you let them shape it up for you here all I'm doing is going really slowly to make a straight line and I just clean off the rest of my neck under that line. It's a little confusing with the mirror because it gives you this reverse effect when you hold it against another mirror but you just go really slowly try to see which way to hold the trimmers and once you get a straight line on one side you also want to make sure you get behind the ears and then you're going to go to the other side and you're going to do the exact same thing on the other side you just want a perfectly straight line again I'm taking my sweet time because when I think I'm moving my trimmers up they're actually moving down when I think they're moving right they're moving left because the double mirror effect so you're just taking your time, making a nice straight line. And you want to make the line 
in the same way that your hair naturally grows. You don't want anything to look too unnatural. Of course, my neckline, you can tell, is I have cowlicks all over and it's very a very untraditional neckline, so uh, don't mind don't mind all the extra bulk and things sticking out there. It'll be much easier for you. At this point, you can choose to either round the corners off, which I'm doing here, or if you just want to go along and make a straight line on the bottom, that's also easy and you can do that. But notice how I'm holding the trimmers here. That's the key here. I'm holding them just a little bit differently. And again, I'm taking my time trying to adjust the mirrors, trying to see clearly. And you can see already I'm getting a nice smooth curve. So I'm going for a slightly longer look here. I didn't taper off the back. I want to keep it long and you'll see in the end product exactly why I leave it so long. It's going to give me the exact look that I'm looking for. And after you've cleaned off your neck well, you can move to the other side. And again, I'm going to round it off a little bit. It's tougher with my neckline, but you're going to see it's going to look nice at the end. Again, if you have someone to help you with this, that's probably preferable. If not, this is how you would go about doing it. Make sure you don't press too hard with the trimmers so you don't cut yourself at all. And then, finally, my last step, I'm going to take the clippers again with a number 6, this time in the closed or shorter position. And I'm just going to go along my sideburns and along the sides a little bit to kind of clean up my look a little bit and make it look more crisp and so that around my sideburns the number 8 might be a little too long and untamed. So this will add a nice touch. I don't want to go with the number 6 on the back but just on the sides gives it a nice look. And then at the end you can always touch up anything you need. Here I'm gonna fast forward through uh, doing behind my ears and the sideburns and my beard. I have I have uh, videos on how to give yourself a lineup or a shape up or an edge up on your beard, how to do so on your sideburns, how to do your hairline. I have all those videos so be sure to check them out which is why I'm fast forwarding through here. But it does make for a much cleaner and more professional and polished look. You're going to notice in a second I'm going to comb out my hair and notice the shape that my hair is in. This is the end product you're looking for. It tends to be longest towards the center of your hair and as you go towards your ear it slants upwards. And on the opposite side it's much shorter but still a little bit longer in the middle and as you go towards your ears it gets shorter. That's the end product, that's the end goal. Here is a free bonus tip for successful marriages. Public service announcement. Be sure to clean the hair in the sink after you shave your beard or cut your hair. You will thank me later. And that's all there is to it. Here I washed my hair and I'm just putting some hair paste or wax and styling it. And you can tell such a big difference from where we started. In the next screen, I'll remind you exactly where we started. It's quite a stark difference and it's a much cleaner look. Here's a reminder of my crazy hair at the beginning and here is the finished product. Be sure to like, subscribe and share. Thank you for all those who have been supporting this channel. Here are some of my other videos. Be sure to leave your comments and I'll see you at the next video.